Hey guys, I'm making this video to help anyone who has to change an alternator belt on a 2001 and 2005 Honda Civic. And my issue with this was after I changed the timing belt, uh, every time the AC compressor clutch right there engaged, it would make a terrible squealing sound. And so um, I kept thinking that there might be some metal on metal contact between the AC compressor clutch and um, the, we the pulley behind it but it just turned out that I did not add enough tension into this. So getting the tension right on your alternator belt, also called the serpentine belt, because this goes around the alternator right here, as well as your AC compressor, and then your harmonic balancer right there. Um, getting this tension right is uh, very important. Otherwise, you're going to have to come back in like I am right now and redo this job. So um, the way to do it is you've got your... Uh, power steering pump and reservoir right here and those come out with uh, a few bolts right here. Once you get those out, um, the way you're actually going to adjust the tension to either get enough slack to take the belt off and put on a new alternator belt um, is pretty straightforward. You've got a 14 mil bolt right here and then you also have a 12 mil bolt. It's in the shadow a little bit but it's right there. And so what you want to do is get that 12 mil bolt loose as well as this 14 mil bolt loose. And the reason for that is because this alternator swings uh, on a slight arc like this. And so as you um, move and adjust this flywheel, um, sorry, uh, wing nut, as you torque down the wing nut clockwise, you're pulling the alternator up this way, swinging it up on the arc and that adds tension into this belt. And another thing I noticed about the alternator belt tension is these people on YouTube keep talking about like a, a 90 degree angle um, being good enough. Um, what I found was 90, so I made the torque the first time when I changed the timing belt, I made it so that I could get to 90 degrees and it would stop. That is not enough tension, um, at least for my car, because it was squealing like a pig every time I engaged the uh, alternator or um, I engaged the compressor for the uh, AC. And so this amount of tension that I have right here is good enough that I don't get uh, any problems. Another important note to make when you're doing this job is after you put on a new belt, I highly recommend turning the engine over and letting it run for a little bit just so you can let the new belt sit in and uh, I'll show you what I did just to make sure that you don't get the squealing back. Um, it's okay to have the engine like this. If you're at this point, you can leave the uh, power steering pump and reservoir off to the side like this because these aren't going to be rotating on their own. They're uh, getting powered off the harmonic balancer right there. So you can leave those off. Just go back in the car. Turn it on. Make sure you can turn on your AC. And it's blowing cold air, obviously you want your AC to be working. Um, but at this point, last time, it was making a terrible squealing noise and that was because the belt didn't have enough tension and it was like jittering um, on the pulley, which made a very high pitched noise. So um, it's not doing that anymore because I added more tension into that belt and I needed to have even more tension than it did previously. So now um, this is a problem that uh, looks like it's been resolved. So uh, I hope this helps you out guys. If you have those belt schooling problems, you might just get away with adding more tension into it. Um, you might as well replace the belt while you're at it too, but make sure you put enough tension into your new belt or old belt um, so that you don't make the same mistake I did and have to go all the way back in and do this. So hope this helps and thanks for watching.